Welcome back to our South Dakota Road Trip Series. In this video, we'll show you more of the state of great faces and great places, zooming in on the western part of the state, and how to make the most of your trip to the National Memorial that is Mount Rushmore, and the neighboring towns of Rapid City, Custer, and Keystone, as we wind through the picturesque Black Hills. We'll also take you to Crazy Horse and a state park to see wildlife. Hop in, we're Mandy, Orlando, and in the back seat is our great Pyrenees Abraham. Come with us on our journey. Heading towards Mount Rushmore, the excitement builds because you get sneak peeks of the president's faces in the rocks. It's a fun ride going under the famous pigtail bridges and as you drive through the tunnels, nature forms a picture frame around the faces. It's like being in a free outdoor gallery. And suddenly, here we are, Mount Rushmore, South Dakota. The entrance into this national monument is free. And the first thing you'll see is Gutsen Borglum, a man born to Danish polygamist immigrants. Now there's a story. And he was the sculptor who carved Mount Rushmore, well, him and 400 friends, who started carving the faces out of this granite rock in 1927. Abraham, what do you think of this? <laughs> Rushmore represents the birth, growth, development and preservation of the United States. Ten points if you know the names of all four presidents and why they were chosen. George Washington's easy. He was the very first president. Thomas Jefferson for growing the U.S., purchasing the Louisiana Territory from France in 1803. Theodore Roosevelt, known as the Conservation President, for constructing the Panama Canal, and Abraham Lincoln for keeping the country together during the Civil War and ending slavery. Abraham, who's this above you? Who is it? Let's see, let's see. Abraham Lincoln? Doggy Abraham here. Look at that, zero interest. Even though Mount Rushmore attracts two million visitors a year, it doesn't feel crowded. It feels like a relaxing walk in the woods where you can stop and see the presidents from different vantage points. darling it's time to go now how lucky are you to have your morning walk around one of the most amazing national monuments in the united states you're a very lucky boy rapid city is the gateway town to mount rushmore and where most people stay if you walk down main street you'll be walking along the city of presidents walk stop at main street square for a coffee or a bit of shopping or splash around in the fountain with the kids also in town is a section from the Berlin Wall, the haunted Hotel Alex Johnson, the Air and Space Museum, a dinosaur park, and the Bear Country Wildlife Park. And Keystone, only 10 minutes from Mount Rushmore, is full of attractions with its Presidential Wax Museum, Big Thunder Gold Mine, and the Rushmore Tramway with toboggans and zip lining. And Keystone has some gorgeous tunnels too. Coming up, Crazy Horse. No, not that Crazy Horse. This guy. But first we're going to visit the cute town of Custer, named after General Custer, 
where painted buffalo lined the streets. Warning, there's no shortage of souvenir shops, which can sometimes be tacky and even offensive. So we just headed around the corner for some roasted chicken for lunch, some of the juiciest, tastiest chicken I've ever had, before heading out to see some wildlife in Custer State Park. You drive around the loops, but you're free to stop and get out of your car and walk along the designated paths. You might see bison, also known as buffalo, wild horses, donkeys, mules, and antelope, also called pronghorn. Remember, these animals roam free and run wild and tend to cross the road in front of your car whenever they feel like it. So, be safe and keep your distance. I said keep your distance. And what's with the selfies? Oh, never mind. Just don't be tempted to pet those cute fluffy buffalo. You have been warned and you're welcome. Abraham, where are we going next? You said we were going to see a crazy horse. Ah, yes, to see the memorial of Chief Crazy Horse. 30 minutes from Mount Rushmore is another national monument carved in a ginormous rock and it's 500 feet high and 600 feet long. It shows the Lakota warrior, Crazy Horse, pointing to the lands where his ancestors are buried. He was an activist and protested the white settlers encroaching on, effectively stealing, his ancestral tribal land. He famously fought the US Army at the Battle of Little Bighorn and won. grounds are beautiful to walk around, or you can marvel the monument from the viewing platform. And make sure you stay for the cultural show, where the Lakota tell stories and perform different kinds of traditional dances, including the hoop dance. And they explain that their tribe is Lakota and not Sioux. Sioux was the name given by the white man, and it means snake. We loved our visit to the Crazy Horse Memorial and we learned a lot. It's often called the eighth wonder of the world in progress. That's because its creators, Ziolkowski and Chief Henry Standing Bear, started breaking rock in 1948. 74 years later, it's still unfinished. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks everyone for letting us share the world with the world. If you had fun on this trip, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and if you like reading, I wrote a book. And I also recorded the audiobook. It's the story of my life set all over the world, and it's wee pants funny. You'll find the link below.